um, some plants that were growing in um, different greenhouses um, that were at, at different temperatures. And so what this, these were grown over a matter of, of three or four weeks. Um, they looked at the average temperature in, in each greenhouse and then looked at uh, the plant height um, for a series of plants. And so you can look at that. And so we're looking at, at those. Um, so in this case, if we look at our fit y by x, we're going to assume that temperature is going to affect plant height. So that's going to be our x-axis. We, we have four different trials. Um, notice that both of them are, every, all of them are continuous. So it's going to be a bivariate analysis, continuous, continuous. Um, we're going to look at that um, in there. And so what you can see is that there's a, a, a mix of these things here. Um, you could once again um, put things on diff on the same plots if you wanted to, um, so that you could look at this one. This goes from 24 to 38, um, and it's much more much bigger spread um, than than the other ones um, are. If you wanted to sort of do that comparison, you can always do that. Um, the other, the first thing you 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 can do, um, and another thing that you could do here would be to um, um, fit a line, um, and so a linear fit. Um, what this is does is it fits a straight line to the thing. There are other kinds of of fits that you could look at here, um, and you can pick those different kinds of things if you had. Uh, a nonlinear uh, relationship. Um, the line is basically a best fit line to the points. Um, and the first thing you'll notice that it gives you is that um, a, an equation of the line, basically our plant height here is the y, this is our y-axis. Um, this is the y-intercept here when this would be to go to zero. Um, if we change this uh, scale, then it would hit zero at 20 when, it, when x was zero. Um, this number here is the slope of the line um, here, rise over run, and then multiplying it by the average temperature. Um, the other thing is, you'll see, once again, we find our, our square. In this case, it's pretty high. It's 66% 60, of the variance is explained by average temperature of the variance in plant height. Um, and that's basically this here, 6.69 divided by 10.17. Um, that's our thing. There are two kinds of this F test the analysis of variance here is testing whether or not the mean is significantly different than zero. Um, this parameter estimates these test the, whether the intercept is significantly different than zero and whether or not, and this is the same basic test here of the, um, it's testing the slope significantly different than zero. So you can see that this one has both a significant slope and a significant intercept and explains about 66% of the variance. Um, if we take a look at this next one um, down um, and fit a line, the difference you'll see here is now we've explained 87% of the variance. You can see that it's a little bit better fit. There's less spread across the line. Um, now we see something that's got even more of a spread um, and let's see if what it does. This one explains about 30% of the variance. The intercept is no longer significantly uh, estimated to be significantly different than than zero, um, and but the slope is still significantly different uh, from both. Um, you know, the slope is a lot steeper. 
um, one, and then we can look at this last line, um, which basically is only explaining 12% of the variance, and neither the slope nor the intercept are significantly different from zero. Um, so you can see the difference in those those in terms of the spread of the points, uh, the size of the R square, and the ability for it you determine that it looks like it's a, that has a significant effect. So in this one, temperature doesn't have a significant effect on plant height, whereas in all of these other ones it does.